No, I did not get a cameraman or a lady. I'm walking around my office. You might not be able to hear me so well, but I want to show you this thing. Now, this is my review of a webcam, and I'm not getting paid for this, so I'm going to try to be as impartial as I possibly can, even though I'm pretty excited about this technology, as you could have probably told by the title. By the way, the image you're seeing right now is coming straight out of the webcam. I'm going to talk about the image quality. Not much because, well, it'll speak for itself once you see this, but I will talk about a bunch of other features. Tom from Insta360, which is a camera company, he reached out to me and said, hey, uh, you want to check this out? It's called the Insta360 Link. And I was like, hey, I've been using your cameras for a few years now. You guys make pro cameras. What are you doing, a webcam now? Yeah, I'll check it out. Oh, and uh, would you be kind enough to please send me four of these so I can give them away to my audience? And Tom agreed. So thanks, Tom. Stay till the end of the video to find out how you can win one of these uh, four cameras. So when I first unpacked it, I just plugged it into my computer and it instantly worked. There is no software setup required for this thing. It just works out of the box like any plug and play camera. All the AI stuff is actually built right into the firmware or the software that runs on board on the camera itself. But you could get uh, the software control for it. The software control allows you to basically do all kinds of different things with the camera. You can change the resolution. Right now I have it to set to 4K, but if you don't like 4K, maybe you don't wanna see all those wrinkles or dust on your shirt. So you can set it to 1080p if you wanted to. You can control the gimbal by moving it back and forth right here. You can zoom in and out. That's a digital zoom, of course. By the way, this is a half inch sensor on the camera itself. So that's why you're getting such nice quality. You also have preset positions here. This is a one preset position that I've saved and I have another one. The camera automatically just turns to my monitor. Not, not the best choice of position there, but you can get the idea. Then I press head again and it comes back right to me. There's also whiteboard mode. Camera comes with these little stickers that uh, you stick on any surface and it becomes a whiteboard. So if you're holding a meeting and you wanna do a remote uh, whiteboard session, you can do that. Uh, it's easier writing on the whiteboard than some kind of digital surface. There's also an overhead mode and a desk view mode. The camera compensates automatically for that and leans forward to show your desk or uh, for the overhead mode, you have to actually tilt the camera physically down or you can set it up on a tripod to be able to tilt it. There is an optional tripod you can buy from Insta360 or you can use one of your own. It comes with this quarter inch thread at the bottom and my old camera didn't come with it so I had to drill my own hole just to get this feature. It's good that they added this in. Now in the software control, you can also change the image settings. Everything that you changed here, exposure, auto exposure, white balance, you can save as presets. We'll get into more settings and what that means later, but everything you save here gets saved to the camera. And when you're disconnected from the computer, all that stuff is saved on the camera. So then you can use uh, other software like Zoom, for example. You can select your camera and you'll be able to use this camera with those settings through Zoom and then apply further effects or background backgrounds right in Zoom. So for example, I can do a background blur like this in Zoom. So I get all the benefits of this uh, Insta360 link image, then I pipe it through Zoom and so on. And then Zoom uh, basically destroys the image. Uh, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> you got to compress the image to send it to far away places. So it's fast. Okay, uh, it's understandable. <laughs> but when I actually have the software open, it's called Insta360 link controller, then I can record through here and I get the full quality. It's like having a camera person with you. Now you can also not use the computer at all. Let's say you're giving a talk and you want to record that remotely and uh, you want to maybe have a virtual camera person that follows you around if you're walking around the stage, for example. You can do that. Hook this up to uh, a monitor, hook it up to a little device that converts it to HDMI and then you're good to go. Or you can bring your laptop and do it that way too. I'm using this thing called the OpsBot and basically it acts like a webcam host, converts the signal right to HDMI and then you can output HDMI. By the way, I'll link to all the things I mentioned in this video down below in the description. Now this does have AI features built in, computer vision, I mentioned the uh, the whiteboard feature before, and it's all connected to the gimbal that's inside. It's got a little tiny little built in gimbal that basically keeps the camera level at all times. Your <laughs> tripod could be crooked and it still keeps the camera nice and level. There's other computer vision features that this camera has. For example, it's it's tracking me right now because I have tracking turned on. I turned it on simply by doing this 
And when I do this, the camera blinks and it lets me know that it's either on or off. If it was on, it's gonna turn off. And now it's not tracking me, so I can walk off frame. But if I wanted to turn on tracking again, I just go like this one more time and it starts tracking me again. Now, you saw the gimbal controls. There's also zoom controls. There's two different kinds of zoom controls. One is computer vision zoom. You make an L shape basically next to your face. If you go up, it'll zoom in. And if you go down, it'll zoom out. Hopefully you won't be flashing the L sign um, to people that'll misunderstand you. Just explain to them, okay? Explain to them that you're using AI to control the camera, okay? They won't take offense if you explain it to them. To enter the whiteboard mode using gestures, you just go like this, use a V and it'll search for the stickers and find that. There's also AI zoom. With AI zoom, you basically let the AI handle a zoom for you based on where you are. There's three options under AI zoom, head, half body, and whole body. Let's say I select head and if I move away from the camera, which I'm doing right now, it's actually zooming into me automatically. I'm, I'm further away, you can hear it from the microphone but uh, it's zooming in. And when I move closer in, it zooms back out. If I do half body, you get the idea. It's gonna basically do half body. So if I go here, stand like this, half body. <laughs> All right. This camera is really cool. I think it's gonna change the way we do meetings. But let's talk about a couple of the negative things that I found. If you're using the software, the Insta360 Link Controller, uh, there are times when it freezes up. This is just a software issue and a bug. I'm sure it'll be fixed. It's not a deal breaker. Another thing is when it's tracking me, sometimes it's going to lose me. Like for example, if I do this, yeah, it lost me. So I quickly got away from it. Now there's a couple of things you can do to fix it. One is just um, basically take the camera manually and point it back at yourself and it finds you and then it keeps tracking you. Easy as that. Another thing you can do if it loses you is just uh, get back in the frame. And once you're back in the frame, hey, here we are, <laughs> we're back. Just a couple of things that um, come with the territory. Using cool technology is sometimes a double-edged sword. You get extra capabilities, but you also have to deal with the consequences of using it and something going wrong. Finally, let's talk about price. The camera right now is at 299 US dollars. So it's not the cheapest webcam out there. Does it have really cool features? Yes. Is it really high quality? Yes. But to buy a new webcam and pay 300 bucks for it, you know, you really should need those features. 4K webcams are really coming up. There's quite a lot of options out there that are less expensive, but if you like the feature set of this one and the quality and all the cool, neat things that it can offer, then maybe it's worth it to you. So keep that in mind. Like I said, there will be a Black Friday sale of some kind, so keep an eye out on the description there. Now I got a giveaway for these. My Twitter handle is down below. Make sure you follow me. I'm gonna be picking random comments from the comments down below this video and announcing the winners on Twitter. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll be back.